Hello everyone, this is Tony, CEO, founder, Turn Luxury Car Rental. Just making another video for my YouTube channel. This video, I'm gonna talk about Turo, uh, day in the life in the Turo and the car rental business, okay? For those of you guys who don't know me, um, like I said, I'm in Louisville, Kentucky. I started doing Turo about two years ago. Um, I'm the biggest host in my city. I now have a 17 car fleet here in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm an all-star host. I have over a thousand trips, okay? Uh, my cars is black, I have an all black fleet. And basically, um, I, I do two on Airbnb four time. I quit my job and my nine to five job, and I do this four time now. Um, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a hustler. I have several different businesses that I do, and Turo is one of them. Um, and I love Turo, uh, something that I would recommend to people. Uh, it's very fun, I uh, enjoy doing it. And I'm gonna show you guys what it's like, uh, being in the car rental business, being the owner, the day-to-day -day operations. I'm just gonna talk, talk about it and show you guys what it's like every day. Because uh, people don't realize what's all involved and, and what it takes to, to be uh, in the car rental business, okay? So just to show you, this is my uh, warehouse. Um, where I store my vehicles at. This is my shop uh, here in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, when I first started off, I was doing it out of my house. And as I got more and more cars, um, I ran out of space, I ran out of room. Uh, so I had to get a storage unit or a shop, warehouse, something like a store where my vehicles at, because I do have 17 cars. And I plan on expanding and getting more cars. So I got very lucky and I found this warehouse. It's actually very close to where I live, like five minutes away. Um, I paid $1,300 a month uh, for this space and all utilities are included. So I don't have to pay any water or any electric and uh, pay $1,300 a month rent for this uh, unit. And I can actually get a total of, uh, I actually tried out one day, I can get two cars side by side. So two, four, six, 12, 18. So I can actually get 18 cars total uh, in this warehouse, okay? So which right now I have 17 cars, but I never have all my cars here at once, okay? So I uh, so just wanna talk about that. So these are a few of my vehicles. Um, as you see, like I said, all my vehicles are black on black. All my vehicles have tinted windows and all my vehicles are V8s, Hemis. Um, and I deleted the mufflers, did straight pipes. So they sound really, really good, okay? So just wanna give you a tour, show you my shop, show you a few of my vehicles. So you can kind of see, uh, you know, what everything looks like here, okay? Uh, now, if you're coming over here, this is my cleaning supplies. I do wash my vehicles myself here in my shop. Uh, we we'll talk about that later on in a minute. But these are all my, all my cleaning supplies that I use to clean my cars. Okay. And then I have my water hose, my bucket, my vacuum cleaners over there. So I, when I pull my cars in right here and I wash them and then I go ahead and park them. So one of my vehicles just came back today. This is my Camaro convertible. So just to kind of show you guys what I deal with every day, that people don't realize what's all involved uh, being in the car road business, uh, especially when you have a lot of vehicles. So when a customer return my vehicle, first thing that I do is I take pictures all the way around. Okay, so this is my Camaro, we just came back from a customer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my Turbo app just to kind of show you guys. So this is actually my schedule for today, okay? So my truck came back this morning, my Camaro just came back at five, and then these three cars also come back today, in which they may end up extended, but this is my Camaro, okay? So what I do is I basically, they, you know, take pictures. So you can see, I already took my pictures pretty much all the way around uh, the vehicle. And, you know, check for any damages, stuff like that. Uh, the gas, you know, the gas was full. Now, in case the situation where if the, if the gas wasn't full, what I do is I go to the gas station, I fill it up, I get the receipt, and then I charge the customer for gas, you know, because Turo, you will get reimbursed for gas plus a $10 inconvenience fee. So anytime a car comes back and it's not full, because I make sure my cars is full when they, when they go out, if they're not full when they come back, I go straight to the gas station, I fill it up, and I get the receipt and I bill the customer, okay? Because I like to make sure, stay on top of it, make sure my cars is full when they go out to the, to the, next, the next renter, okay? So, I'll tell you another thing I check for. I check for tars. Make sure my tars is good. Make sure uh, the air pressure, the tire pressure is good. So what I do is I start the car up. And if the tar is low, um, the, 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 it's gonna tell me. You know, it's gonna tell me if my tar is low. So go right here and I check the tire pressure. So the tar is not low, the gas is full. Also what I check for is oil change. So you see my mouths right there. 97,000 and you see that sticker right there. Um, so I have a sticker on all my cars 
so I can keep track of my mileage. So this is actually due for an ore change. So what I'm going to do um, tomorrow, because it's probably too late today, is I'm going to take this car to go get an ore change. Cause I got us, because you got to stay on top of your maintenance, y'all. So you know, so just for you know, you know, FYI, like I said, because if you if you don't stay on top of your maintenance, you can't make no money. So you want to make sure your cars is up to par as far as maintenance, as far as ore change, brakes, tars. Got to stay on top of it in this business, okay? Um, so. So with, with this car that just came back, you know, uh, my, my Camaro convertible, I'm gonna go ahead and take this to get an oil change uh, tomorrow, cause it's too late today. Uh, I'll get an oil change and then make sure, like I say, anything else, if we need brakes, if we need rotors, if we need tires, I'm gonna have all that inspected when I get my uh, oil change done at the dealership. And then if everything passes, I'm gonna take the car on back and I'm going to go ahead and basically pull it on into my shop. They say, this is my shop, y'all. So if you're ever in town, come see me. But I go ahead and pull the car up right here and I go ahead and wash it, okay? Um, so I just got done washing a few of the cars. That's why you see all the water right here. So I go ahead and uh, wash the car, make sure it's clean, uh, vacuum, make sure it smells good, hit it with some tar shine so the car's ready to go. And then I go ahead and park it, okay? Once I do that, I'm done. So all these cars right here, the gas is full, um, the car's clean, it don't need any maintenance. So if somebody book any of these cars, I don't have to do anything but just pour the car out and give it to the customer, okay? That's pretty much it. So it makes it very easy, very simple, especially when I have a last minute renter who books the car the same day within like an hour or two, uh, the car's ready to go. So I literally just pull the car out, I'll take my pictures, um, I check their driver's license, give them the keys, and that's it, okay? So that's what it's like for me. You know, like I said, I have 17 cars. My shop, my hours is 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., seven days a week, so I'm open every day. Um, no days off, um, you know. But when I first started, I was 24 seven. So people was, was written cars at midnight, early in the morning. Um, I didn't have any life. So I had to change, I had to scale down a little bit. So right now, like I said, my hours is 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., seven days a week is when people can rent cars for me, you know. And like I said, with today, uh, let me pull the tour right back up. As you can see, like I said, I had several cars on my schedule today, you know, and then I have some more tomorrow. So every day I have cars going in and out pretty much every day uh, with my business because I'm, like I said, I'm an all-star host. I have a lot of vehicles, I have a lot of trips. So like I said, like the truck, it's the truck that came back today, uh, I took my pictures, everything was good, no damages, gas is full. So I put it on inside and washed it and the truck is back there in the back now, it's ready to go. Okay, so that's what it's like, um, you know, day to day operations. Sometimes I might have to do a delivery. I might go to the airport. Or I might go to a customer's hotel to deliver the car to them or to pick the car up from them. When I do that, so if I'm by myself, I catch an Uber, a Lyft back, or I have somebody follow me. Okay, so that's how the um, deliveries work. Okay, a lot of people have been asking about that as well. So just want to show you guys the day-to-day -day operations, you know, being a car with a business, uh, that's what I deal with every day. I'm pretty much here most of the day, cleaning my cars, checking maintenance, make sure the charge is good, make sure the gas is full, uh, make sure I don't have any issues with the cars. Um, and then that way, when it gets booked, I meet the customer right outside here, give me the keys, and I'm done, okay? So, for you guys, uh, like I said, uh, hit me up on social media, Tony Luxury Cars. Uh, I am doing one-on-one -on -one sessions now. Uh, you can click on the link of this video if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation. I will teach you the game. Save you a lot of time and headache that I dealt with. Um, please like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. 